Hey guys, welcome back to uh, episode two of Fairy Tale Games: The Battle Royale. Uh, today, I want to talk to you about the first type of cards: bonus cards. These cards are usually acquired through uh, battle or through quest completions. Um, also, if I understand correctly, some of the NPCs, non-player characters, uh, could end up causing you to draw a card. So the first card I want to talk about is the character cards. These are the character cards that you're going to put on your character sheets. Um, so let me go ahead and grab uh, one out of here. Sorry about the noise. I meant to already have this out. So let's look at Glenda here. Uh, you would take her character card, drop her right there, and if she were not your main character, you would get these bonuses down here. But because she is your main character, you get these bonuses. <clears throat> anyway, so that is the first bonus card. The next bonus card is action cards. So your action cards uh, give you an action usually by spending... Uh, your traits so this here says to spend three magic right here and here let me bring that up closer that's the little fire symbol magic spend three magic and defend up to 10 fire damage to you or target player so <clears throat> it, anyone who uses this you can defend up against 10 up to 10 fire damage uh, next is the NPC characters which I laugh out loud about because NPC means non-player character, but the way it's written, NPC character, non-player character character. You're going to find these kind of typos and, and errors in a lot of your Kickstarter games first fresh off the press because they're still working out the kinks. But this card I am significantly uh, confused about right now because it's exactly the same on both sides. The only thing I can figure is that you shuffle this in with the rest of the bonus cards and then draw a card, draw a card, and then when that one suddenly pops up, it immediately goes on the location that you're standing on. That's the only thing I can figure that, that um, is how that card is used. Next we have item cards. We have regular items, disposable items, that's another disposable item. We have equipable items. We have, oh, let's see here. Legendary items, which actually that's what that one is. Uh, so your, your regular items uh, do something, your disposable items do something and go away. Your equipable items will go into your item slots. Right, like that. Now, if you are the correct character, so obviously I have Glenda here, so let's go ahead and flip her card over. And these cards would obviously not be on top of the character sheet like this. So let me just set all of these aside. So this is your character, these are your items. Because I have Glenda and I have her legendary item, I get this bonus. If I did not have Glinda, let's say this was any other character, any other character, equipable item, plus one attack, plus one movement. Because I have Glinda, I have this special power. Spend X amount of magic to give a character X amount of traits on your location or an adjacent location. So, let's say you have these couple of different locations. North and south, east and west, you're here in the middle. Someone's here with you, someone's down here, or on any other location directly beside you, beside you or north or south of you. Diagonal does not count as adjacent. So you're here, got another player here, got another player here. You can spend 10, or I'm sorry, X amount of magic to give one of these players, either this one or this one, the same amount of traits. So basically you're taking them off your card and giving them to someone else. 
So let's go ahead and get these picked back up. So that's a legendary item. And then you have epic items, which are very strong items that do not have a specific player. Uh, that is another equipable item. That is another equipable item. And this is a reinforcement item. You have three defense, minus one movement while wearing this. So let's say we're using the sword and the armor. So plus three attack, minus one movement, plus three defense, minus one movement. That takes her movement down to two, or I'm sorry, down to three. But she has three more attack, which would go, or you would have that when you're battling, so you would add that into your uh, amounts. And then you have plus three defense, and you would add that in when someone else is attacking you, which both people get the chance to attack in a battle. Minus two movement, but they attack you. Every time you defend against one, you have to mark off one of these green squares. You, of course, would use your markers, not a pen or anything silly like that. Um, but you would use these jewel markers. Daggone it. There we go. So you would use these. And I'm, uh, by the way, for anyone who else might also be colorblind, I was told that there are three different colors. There's a red, a green, and a yellow or orange. Uh, the way I see them is clear and pink and yellow, um, but because I'm told that these are green, these and these look very, very close, um, and I would get very easily confused, which is why when I play the game, everyone else can use the markers, and I'll use dice, because I literally have them uh, scattered all over my house. My bedroom the living room, the office. Uh, I think there's even a couple in the kitchen or in the laundry room. I have them all over the house. Um, so anyway, so those are your um, basic or generic bonus cards. And this is how many you get. Two whole stacks of them, as you saw in the last video. And you have... Hey, let me go ahead and get these off the off the top here. You have one character card. Whoop. That's not right. There they are. You have one character card for each character sheet. And then all the way back here, you have wherever I put it. There it is. There's one. Two, three. No, those are not it. Two, three NPC characters. So they must just get shuffled in. And then the way that they are played is when they get, when they pop up on any. For any reason, they go on the location of the current uh, person's turn on their location. Uh, but that is why there are three extra tokens for each of the three non-player characters. Because you can use those tokens as markers instead of putting the card on top of the card. Um, and thus forgetting like what the actual location is. So, those are what bonus cards are. Um, if there's anything I've forgotten, don't be afraid to leave a comment reminding me, um, or if anyone has any other questions, don't be afraid to leave a comment and ask. Don't forget to hit that like button and, uh, subscribe. And any, anyone who hasn't yet, which I forgot to mention it in the last video, jump over to my wife's, uh, YouTube page, Melissa Henderson. And uh, she can talk to you about the 31 products. Thanks a lot, guys. Until next time, God bless and much love.